Max Verstappen is barely holding the lead in the driver's standings. If you ask anyone on the grid, they'll tell you that Lando Norris will be crowned king at season's end. But for the final quarter of the 2024 season, he'll have to do it without teammate Oscar Piastri's full support. Is there tension brewing inside the McLaren garage? Let's have a look. Lando Norris believes that there are other threats to win the driver's title, including Oscar Piastri. While giving his take on needing help from his teammate to outdo Verstappen, the Brit said that he hasn't missed out on any points in the title battle, even though Piastri has been taking points away from him. I've not lost out on any points. It's like saying from round one, Oscar needs to let me pass in every race. It doesn't make sense. I've been the closest for a long time. But other drivers can still win the championship, not just me. We're still fighting for ourselves. Oscar is fighting for himself. Charles Leclerc is fighting for himself. There isn't a number. You cannot say exactly what race rules need to change. It doesn't make sense. I'm very happy with how we've worked as a team and the direction we're going. After the papaya rules were introduced ahead of the Italian Grand Prix, things took an unexpected turn when Piastri overtook pole sitter Norris on the opening lap. This forced McLaren to take more decisive measures. Team principal Andrea Stella confirmed that McLaren will prioritise Norris, who is currently 52 points behind Max Verstappen in the standings, with six races and three sprints left in the season, and 180 points still on the table. Although Piastri secured a win in Azerbaijan following Monza, keeping his slim title hopes alive, Norris's commanding performance the next weekend in Singapore solidified his position as the frontrunner in McLaren's pursuit of Verstappen. Piastri, meanwhile, now trails by 94 points. When asked if he's prepared to follow team orders during a race, Piastri shared his thoughts in an interview with Auto Motor on Sport, saying he's drawing the line at certain limits. He said, The team wants to win both championships. If you have the opportunity to do so, you can't let it pass you by. If I'm only thinking about myself, I don't like team orders against me. No driver likes that. For your pride, you want to show that you are the fastest driver on the track. Nevertheless, I will help Lando in the final races if I am asked. He has the more realistic chance of winning the title. But that's not a blank check. It has to make sense for me to let him by. Piastri is well aware that McLaren has a genuine shot at winning the Constructors' Championship for the first time since 1998. The team has steadily closed the gap on Red Bull over the last eight races, especially since Verstappen's last win in Barcelona, and now holds a 41-point lead. For Piastri, following team orders makes sense as long as it doesn't jeopardise the team's overall success. We also want to win the Constructors' Championship, and sacrificing my race to help Lando won't help us achieve that goal, he said. So we will decide on a case-by-case -case basis. Baku showed how we do things at McLaren. If Lando hadn't stopped Sergio Perez after the first pit stop, I might not have won. He has a share in my victory. While Lando Norris is fighting Max Verstappen for the Formula One title, Oscar Piastri's more realistic goal for this season is to finish in the top three. But looking ahead to next year, Piastri has bigger ambitions. I'm ready, he told GP Blog in an exclusive interview about his plans to challenge for the championship. Piastri has already secured two Grand Prix wins this season, one at the Hungaroring and another in Azerbaijan. Not bad for a driver in only his second year in F1. With five podium finishes in 2024, he currently sits fourth in the championship. But for Piastri, that's not enough. He's determined to aim for the top. He said, I think the highs of this year I've been very happy with, and I think have been good enough. There's still room to improve, consistently, which is the big part. But I'd be much more concerned if I was leaving weekends going, wow, I really need to find something special or really need to work on this. It's always just been I can do that. I just need to be able to do it every single time. Next year I feel like I'm ready. I've certainly still learned a lot of things through this year. And there will still be a lot of things to learn next year, but there's also the case of I might not ever have that opportunity to become champion again. So I need to make sure that I'm ready in some ways. But I feel like regardless of that, I feel like I can be ready for a championship fight in 2025. Even Red Bull team principal Christian Horner had to admit that he was caught off guard by Lando Norris's impressive pace during the Singapore Grand Prix. When asked if he was surprised by how much Norris had in reserve at the Marina Bay Street circuit, Horner responded, saying, Yeah, that was taking the... I shouldn't say that in an official capacity. I mean the pace he had in hand on that tyre at that point in time. At that point we've conceded the race on pace. He touched the wall for the first time and then touched it for the second time, but obviously got away with it. I actually think Max drove a very strong race today and that was what we had, which when you consider where we were a couple of weeks ago, I think we have made some real progress. 
Obviously, we've got a lot of work to do before Austin. Horner congratulated Norris and McLaren for their success in Singapore, adding, They had a very strong car this weekend, and particularly on the first stint, they were very quick. I think on the hard tyre, we looked in better shape. But of course, the gap is way too big by then at a track that anyway, it's very hard to overtake on. I think if you roll back the clock to Friday, on Friday night, I think if you'd have said we'll qualify on the front row and take second place, a significant amount ahead of the rest of the field, I think we'd have certainly taken that. Obviously, the gap to Lando was significant in the first part of the race. We've now got the best part of a month to work hard and try and bring some performance to the car in Austin. That victory at Marina Bay, Norris's second in four races, has chipped away at Verstappen's lead, with Norris taking points off him in every race since the summer break. Verstappen's advantage is now within reach. Dutch pundit Tom Coronel has expressed concern that the momentum may have shifted in the championship. As for Norris's chances, Coronel gives it 80-20. While talking about the likelihood that Max wins the title, he told Racing News 365, Worse, I say 80-20 for Norris. Not that he will close the entire gap in one go, but the difference between the cars is really too big at the moment. I would have trouble sleeping. I'm stressed about it because I can just see that the other cars are faster. And because Max has squeezed the most out of him because no one would have dared to dream of a P2, Max included. Only the gap is too big. For me, it's about the gap, not about the position. The McLaren is so much faster and Piastri is also in front, so if you have a McLaren 1-2 and he is 3, maybe 4, then it's going to hurt seriously. Verstappen still has the points in his favour, with a lead that Norris will find tough to overturn in just six races. All Verstappen needs to do is finish runner-up in each race and he'll retain the world championship by a single point. But one mistake or slip-up could change everything. Max can't have any bad luck. Only then will it be OK, Coronel said. In Azerbaijan, you saw that Norris can drive all the way from the back to the front. If you are in a faster car, you can always make up for it in the race. Always. Even F1 pundit Will Buxton has to agree. In fact, in his eyes, Norris is a shoe-in to win it all this year. During his guest appearance on the Fast and Curious podcast, Buxton has complete faith in Lando's ability to bring it home by season's end. I've been saying it since Austria. It was when he came up second in the championship, which was the Austrian Grand Prix weekend. I drilled Stella on it in the pit lane when Piastri passed him in the sprint race, and I was like, what are you doing? Why are you letting him take points off Norris? It's taken from Austria to now for Lando to get back to the same points gap he had it's happening. I genuinely think it is. Now that we've heard from the experts, I want to hear from you. Can Lando Norris beat Max Verstappen without Oscar Piastri's help? Comment your answer down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.